we hear about farmers markets and makers markets, but today we're talking about a foodie market and the mother of all brunch events. We've got David Cabron here from Greenville 360 with a rundown of ideas for things to do this week. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you for having me as always. Yeah. Entering into sunnier, warmer times. I'm excited with the forecast, right? Yeah. Up to 69 degrees today, sunny, looks good to the rest of the week. All right, so let's let's go out and celebrate some things throughout yep. the week. Um, we're starting with a new food offering. This is mm -hmm. inside of 8th State Brewing Company on Augusta Street. Tell us about Hot Box by Miami Bites. Yeah, so it's it's local, it's a lot of flavor, and uh, it's Cuban-American inspired, little Miami flair. Mm -hmm. So Hot Box by Miami Bites, as you can see there, that is their Miami bowl that I actually ate myself uh, just a few days ago. But uh, it's delicious, it had pickled onions, uh, just really fresh. Um, but then you go back to what A-State does, and they just make some really good, diverse beers. So it's actually a really perfect local combination. Um, you're going to find them at 400 Augusta Street, uh, right off the west end of, of downtown Greenville. But this is a great, viable local spot if you want to grab um, some local drinks. Uh, great ambiance in there. It's very chill, relaxed, but uh, Miami Bites is, is really something to put on your lunch yeah. or even your dinner list. So they're open Tuesday through Sunday, starting at 11.30, and uh, they'll take you all the way up till 7 p.m. Yeah. on those days so and at eighth state brewing you go in there and you realize there's there's a couple great bites you can try out it really gives yeah. you something to do they have uh, everything from to um, fresh guacamole uh -huh. um they have uh, an empanada of the day so really uh they're always kind of mixing things up so this is a great yeah. new addition to the brewery so get in there and check that out yep. next you've got a foodie market at other lands brew this thursday and they do a lot of unique events at that cafe and brewery yep. but this is their first ever um foodie market what's that deal yeah so this thursday night uh they've gotten together i think there's about up to 10 vendors so you're going to be able to come there and try different uh local foods um, from this neighborhood cafe and brewery um, if you haven't been to other lands uh, they did open last fall but it is a, a delicious uh as you can see a very open uh space uh, really cool brand um locally owned they the owners actually uh went to Furman, but uh uh, studied uh, a lot of uh, the brewery uh, kind of cafe concept in Colorado. Okay. I met the owner uh, Mel just a few weeks ago for the first time but great great family but this is just another like you said one of their great events. Uh, I know they have a silent book um, meet up on Wednesdays but this is their foodie event. Uh, they've been doing a lot of good things so really good business to follow on social media uh -huh. and kind of just see what they're doing. And very cool. They follow their passion and then they bring back everything to Greenville for yep. us to enjoy here. Exactly. Um, and then on Saturday there's a can't miss event for everybody who truly loves brunch. We're talking about bubbly yes. side up the events yep. at Judson Mill site. Tell us more. Yeah this is their first ever as well. Um, so if you're looking to check out a new venue and you just love brunch this is probably the event. That for covers a lot of people. A lot of ground. So you're going to head to the Judson Mill district. Uh, that's where they have uh, the warehouse. So they're going to have Magnetic South breweries there. Uh, they have uh, Block Haven, that's the indoor block um, climbing. But uh, this event in particular is all about brunch. So it's $60, all you can eat. Uh, they're going to have Bloody Marys and mimosas as well. So please drink responsibly. But they have tons of food um, from sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. So if you are just a foodie fan, it's probably a really good event. Um, pretty affordable from... You know, yeah. 11 to 2 for 60 bucks, kind of all you can eat. Um, have some drinks with it too, as well. Check out a new new venue. Um, it's kind you of don't a no have brainer, to convince right? Any, yeah, after you say what, what they're doing there, yep. they're, they're going to do well. Um, mm -hmm. Those are just a few of the places yeah. the events readers are finding out about mm -hmm. on Greenville 360, your app and website. So people should just keep engaging with you. David Cabron from Greenville 360, thank you. Yes, thank you. As Good. always, great yeah. to be here. Hope you enjoy the weather this week. But uh, I we're mean, inspired. We're inspired get to get out there, too. No lots to, to eat, lots to do. <laughs> lots to do. People can find you, Greenville 360, online and on social media in those ways on screen right now.